Dear colleagues, in this case, the nucleus was not rotating freely after hydrodissection. Let us see how I managed the case. By this time, main incision has been done. This is a 2.8 millimeter main incision. This is a side port on the right side of the main incision. And this is another side port on the left side of the main incision. And now, capsulorexis is being done. As usual, I incise the anterior capsule near the anterior pole, raise a capsular tag, hold this tag with a uterta forceps. I move anticlockwise and in a very controlled way, I do a capsular axis. I try to remain at equal distance from the dilated people and in this way I get a very good circular axis. This is the hydrodissection is being done. Fluid wave went from this side to the other side. The nucleus has been depressed. A hydrodissection bit has been done on the other side also. And now see what happens. The nucleus is not rotating. In this case I can do some more hydro and uh, try to rotate the nucleus but I didn't do that. I took this case as if hydro has not been done and this technique I learned from respected Dr. Naran Bardului of Jurhat Assam. I respect him very much and uh, many cases, in many cases, we rupture the posterior capsule by hydrodissection itself. And recently, just two days back, I did one. So we can avoid that if we get habituated to no hydrophago. In this case, this is the first job. I remain there for some time so that the fluid goes from goes to the back backward. Now this is called four o'clock job. Yes, this is a very nice fragment has been raised. I tried to remove the fragment, but uh, it came partially. Now I turn the FACO pebble of the FACO tip towards 7 o'clock. And I hold the nucleus and this is 7 o'clock job. However, this job was not very good. So I rotate it little bit and this is 8 o'clock job. And now I could get a very good free nuclear fragment and emulsified that fragment. Now the enough fluid has gone through this big gap backward and natural hydrodissection has occurred. And the nuclear C it is rotating now. And the rest of the case is just a piece of cake as we do in other cases. We rotate the nucleus, chop it and engulf the nuclear fragments using ultrasonic energy. That's it. In this case, the FACO power was 60%, flow rate is 400 and vacuum is, uh, flow rate is 40 ml per minute and vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury. That's it. The, I see the uh, most of the cortical matter on the left side has come out. This is the beauty of natural hydrodissection. And now I am uh, going to remove the cortical matter. Yes, the cortical matter is coming out nicely. That's it. The cortex has been nicely removed. So, little bit of polishing of the posterior capsule is done. And now, uh, I do some more 
polishing with only the irrigating probe of the FECO handpiece. There are some cells sticking to the posterior capsule at 11 o'clock and I just dislodged that. Some cells are there at 5.30 o'clock. I used the aspirating probe to remove that. That's it. Now is the time to implant a foldable intraocular lens in the capsular bag. In this case, I have used viscoelastic substance, SPMC, to fill up the capsular bag, fill up the entry chamber, and here is the intraocular lens. This is a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens. The leading haptic has gone into the bag and the trailing haptic has also been placed in the capsular bag by the chopper. This is a Sensky hook. It's being used to dial the lens. Just I remain on the anterior surface. Some lenses take a longer time and we can use the concavity to dial the lens in such cases and now I am irrigating out the viscoelastic substance using the Simco cannula. I call it first stage cleaning of viscoelastic substance with this Simco cannula. About 70 to 80 percent visco comes out by this method, by this maneuver. And now I use the irrigating probe of the bimanual irrigation aspiration devices and irrigate the anterior chamber very nicely. Here it is. This is Oatly FECO emulsification system. This is the irrigating probe of Oatly. I am irrigating the anterior chamber. Now I am going behind the eye well, irrigating the capsular bag and about 95% or more viscoelastic substance has come out by these maneuvers. I call it second stage and third stage cleaning. Second stage is only by the irrigating probe and third is using both irrigation and aspiration of the bimanual devices. Now this is hydration of the side ports by BSS balanced salt solution and this is the fourth stage cleaning of viscoelastic substance. I direct the fluid towards the um, corneal endothelium and the viscoelastic substance that sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out. We call this fourth stage cleaning of viscoelastic substance. That's it. Now I form the anterior chamber, replace the fluid whatever has been there in Enter chamber with clean BSS, fresh BSS from the bottle, hanging bottle and form the enter chamber like this and come out. That's it. Thank you very much for your attention.